Sometimes Patrice ever chews on a bit of raw chicken. Other times he tells us just how much he loves this game. But this time, Patrice ever has sat down with Gary Neville on Sky Sports in what is a very long and detailed interview about his thoughts on Manchester United. You can watch the full video by clicking the card in the corner of this video. Now, what Ever discusses is why he thinks Pogba will leave United, Alexis Sanchez and his wages, Ed Woodward, Solskjaer, the Glazers, the club, the structure, everything. It really is a long and detailed interview. And what I want to do in this video, like I always do, is run through the points that Ever had to make and discuss whether I feel they are right or wrong. And as always, I want to hear from you in the comments what you think about this interview as well. Now, if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you go down there, hit that subscribe button, join the community, and hit the notifications bell as well. You get a little ping every time a video comes out. If you're a regular, drop a like on the video. Let's get straight into it. The first point that I want to discuss is Evra talking about how he sees a real lack of quality in this United squad. On the pitch, I'll be honest with you, I love all of them. I see them a lot, you know, when I go to, to watch the game, I come at, in the dressing room after the game, you know, I'm encouraging them and they know how much I love them. But name me like one or two players can play for Madrid, can play for Juventus, can play for Bayern Munich, you know. It's not few. Me, I will say Paul Pogba and David De Gea and I've got a lot of respect for the, the rest of the player. Ever is not wrong, is he? We've all been saying it for years, but Pogba and De Gea really are the only two world-class players inside this United squad. And it's just a consequence of the demise that we've had post-Fergie and towards the end of Fergie as well in terms of buying the wrong players that don't stick around, that aren't right for the club and that leaves United in a worse position. And this summer, Pogba and De Gea could technically both leave. That's terrifying. And if that happens, I would genuinely say that Wolves have got a better Premier League squad, overall squad, that Man United, and that should never happen. United are in need of such a major overhaul to catch up with the clubs above us, and Ever feels that United fans need to forget about the past in order to move forward properly. It's really difficult because I want to tell them to forget the past, because if they keep thinking about the past, they're going to be hurt every single day. You know, I think we have to, to, to move on, but to move on to the right direction, to buy, to board the player who want to play for United for the badge. No for the money. Now, Ever here is right in one sense, for sure. If United fans just hold on to the past, we will just turn into Liverpool of the 90s that were harking on about the glory days of the 80s and how they were the best team in the world previously, but they still haven't won a Premier League. We could easily turn into that. But the problem for United fans is it's very hard not to look backwards when looking forwards is so utterly grim, when there's no direction from the club whatsoever. As soon as that direction comes in, It'll be easier to see where United are going next. But until that time, United fans find themselves in a, in a, between a rock and a hard place of trying to not look backwards too much. But looking forwards, it's bleak. And the next point that I want to talk about from Evra is when he drops some truth bombs about Alexis Sanchez and his motivations to move to Manchester United. And that's my feeling right now. Some player, they come to United the only reason because of the money. You know, I'm not afraid to say that. Which you players know? are you talking about? I, I'm saying, like, I have nothing against him but Sanchez. When I saw the deal of Sanchez, that's when I say the Man United history just go down. Evra here is 100% spot on. For me, Alexis Sanchez is the single worst signing in the post-Fergie period. I'm going to do a separate video on this because I feel so strongly about it. But he's catastrophically ruined our wage structure at the club, which has led to the likes of Amanda Herrera leaving on a free, while De Gea hasn't signed a new contract. And he's ruined the dressing room as well because that has caused a toxic environment that's controlled too much by money, whereas previously it wasn't. And remember, we never used to do this, but in the post David Gill and Fergie days, Ed Woodward's days, money has taken over as the main lure for bringing people to United because we've, our standards have slipped, we're not challenging for the title anymore. Woodward has decided to take it upon himself to make sure that the players come in, just give them all the money in the world. And that's not how United used to do it. That's what Ever is talking about here, and it's something I agree with. That's where United's identity really has been lost. Because Fergie was always about control and making sure the player power didn't take over. Rooney was the only one he bowed to, and that's why it took a little bit of love away from Rooney for me, personally. 
but that's taken over at United now. Player power is everywhere. It's why the dressing room is toxic. It's why so many managers have failed. And Sanchez, the worst example of it all. And another player who has caused a lot of friction among United fans last season and this season is Paul Pogba. And Ever goes into some real detail when discussing Paul Pogba and his future and the fans and the relationship with the fans. And the first point he discusses is what happened to Pogba after the Cardiff game with the abuse he received from a fan in the Stretford end. If you haven't seen the video, here's the video. And speaking about Pogba, this is what Evra had to say. It's not like I'm prote protecting Paul, but when people, like yesterday, you know, the incident happened with the fan, they're killing Paul. He's the best scorer, best assist. I know you can maybe question sometimes his leadership and everything. Maybe the last few games you, you want Paul to score the winning goal. So that's why maybe mm. people criticize Paul right now. But he's been the best player of, of the season. But just because it's Paul Pogba, He's doing his haircut, his dance, his Instagram and everything. People will just criticize him, but they forget the player it is. So, do you think Ebra's right here when he's saying that the fans are killing him, that, you know, Pop has been the best player in the squad? He deserves a little bit more appreciation from the fans. I think it absolutely works both ways. On the one hand, I absolutely agree that Pogba, for large parts of the season, hasn't been good enough for Manchester United. He went through a sensational purple patch. But I suppose that's why United fans were so furious with him, because we saw that for three months and then he disappeared again, went off the radar. But one thing I do feel is right here when talking about Pogba's criticism is how much he gets criticised in comparison to other players at United. I don't think it's on a level playing field. And that's something that Ever discussed in a follow-up video he did on Instagram after his interview with Gary. And the player have to step up, you know. When I say, I say to Paul, do you think it's normal? You are the best scorer and assist, I understand, but best scorer. What about Jess Lindegar? What about Marcus? What about Romeo? You know, I was like Paul, I was like going in front of them and say, really guys, I'm scoring more than more goal than you. That's why I tell to Paul. So don't say I'm protecting Paul guys of this. No, I'm just telling the truth. You know, lot of players have been worse to worse than Paul. You even start to kill the guy because like, okay, Last few games, he didn't have like, uh, he wasn't on his best, but he's been like the, I think four years in the road, the best player of Man United. Come on, guys. For me, I agree with Evra here. I do feel that the criticism of Pogba is overly intense and hyper-centralised on Pogba in comparison to other players who seemingly get away with less criticism, certainly less intense criticism. And as I said, I think that's a consequence of Pogba being such a good footballer. Everyone knows the ceiling and the levels he can get to are so much higher than you're seeing. And that's where a lot of the frustration comes from. But I do feel that fans have been overly harsh on Pogba. Sure, his agent is a dick. We all know that. Sure, there's been large parts of this season where Pogba really hasn't performed to the level that he should be. And sure, He's certainly got attitude problems and you can question his leadership as well. He's not a flawless player by any stretch of the imagination. But he is Manchester United's best player on that pitch. Top scorer, best assists. And he could leave the club this season. But I think his poor attitude is a consequence of the poor attitude of the club as a whole. I really do think that Pogba's attitude is a consequence of the situation that United are in as a club at the moment. When it was all flying high and Pogba was on form, everything was rosy. But as soon as, the, as soon as Solskjaer was confirmed as manager, everybody dipped again. And certainly the players are at fault for that as well. But I do feel the criticism of Pogba is just too intense on him in comparison to the likes of Rashford, Lukaku, Martial, Lingard. All of them have underperformed more so, I would say, than Pogba. And that is why I don't think selling Pogba this summer is the right thing to do. But Ever feels he will leave the club. I think, I think he will leave. You know, I why? Don't, I don't... why will he leave? Because I think you need to, to feel the love when you play somewhere. Now, 
this is something I don't really agree with Patrice on. This massively works both ways because Pogba certainly felt the love when he came back to United. All the fans were buzzing to see him back in the United shirt. And we supported him and we supported him. When it was Jose Mourinho against Pogba, we supported Pogba. We really did. The fans stood behind him and the fans still do. Yes, there's dissent. Yes, there's some angry voices towards him. But it works both ways. Because if Pogba really wants to feel the love, he's got to reciprocate that love to the fans as well. And when the fans see Pogba on every international break basically flirting with a move away from the club, how is that going to build a loving relationship between the fans and a player? You can't have your cake and eat it. That is a major reason why there's such a divide between fans and Pogba, because everybody looks at him and thinks, does he really want to be at United? Does he really want to play for United? And for a lot of fans, that answer is no. And that's why the love isn't there. But Paul, if you really think the love is bad at United, good luck at Real Madrid. They booed Cristiano Ronaldo before he left, just after he won back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Champions Leagues. You're a bit misguided if you think it's going to be any better in Madrid, because we all know it's going to be 10 times worse. But this idea of feeling the love, Pop has had plenty. But there has been plenty of reason to criticise as well. And that is why the divide is there between the fans and Pogba. But for all the points that Ever makes about Pogba, there is one I have to call him out on being utter bullshit. Do you get the feeling that Manchester United fans criticise Paul Pogba because they do feel as though he wants to leave? Is that part of the problem? There's always speculation around him leaving. There isn't speculation around David Silva, Sergio Aguero, Vincent Cum. These are great players as well. You, yeah, you make a good point. I think that's, that's, uh, that's a point and an important one. But Paul never talked. He's agent talk. Mm. Paul never say like he, he wants to leave. Come on, Patrice. Who are you kidding here? Pogba plays the transfer game just as much as Mina Raiola. They know exactly what they're doing in saying things, in not saying things. It's the way that modern football goes when your agent is Mino Raiola. So while he might be the devil, in terms of football agents, Pogba is far from an angel. He plays the transfer market game just as much as Raiola. And to try and take all the blame away from Pogba and put it on Mena Raiola's shoulders, you're not fooling anybody here, Patrice. Pogba is just as much to blame for this as Mena. But regardless about any of this to do with Paul Pogba, Evra feels really strongly about the motivations behind why a player should always leave a club. I don't want to talk for Paul. I don't, I don't know if he will stay or will leave, but I know, you know, me, I always say, when you bring like negativity around the club, you should leave. If negativity is the marker of whether Pogba will leave or not, I really wouldn't be surprised to see him leave this summer. But as I said, I feel that negativity is symptomatic of United's problems as a club, as a whole at the moment. And Pogba leaving won't get rid of the negativity. Because there's so many problems at this club. And Popper himself, in terms of negativity, could come out, speak to the press and say, look, love Manchester United. I don't want to go anywhere. This is where I grew up when I came from the Harvard as a player. I don't want to leave. But Popper doesn't. Because Popper knows the transfer game. And he spins it just as much as Raiola. So as I said, you can't have your cake and eat it. You can't have all the love. You can't want all the love. But not give back to the fans in that sense. And that is why the negativity will always surround Pogba somewhat. But I wouldn't say that negativity is a reason why you should leave a club. But you should leave if you don't want to be there. And if Paul doesn't want to be here and he genuinely feels he's going to get more love at Real Madrid, then good luck to him. Really good luck. And the next thing Ever says about Pogba and Raiola sums up exactly why some United fans can never love Pogba. Paris Saint-Germain. Manchester, I give you an example. Manchester United or Paris Saint Germain won Paul. Viola will say, I will go where Paul will get more money. Here is the issue, Patrice. You've gone on there about how oh, Alexis Sanchez and his wages, that's not Manchester United, that's not the history of the club. Surely you're telling Pogba to fuck Raiola off then. Because if you're not, you're a massive hypocrite. Raiola is the problem with Pogba just as much as the Glazers are the problem at United. But the problem with both of them, they're both making money hand over fist. Raiola's not going to leave Pogba. The Glazers aren't going to sell United. And that's why the problems will always exist in these environments, because football 
is Moneyball now. It's all about the money. It really genuinely is. And that's the modern game. And it's sad, but I don't really think fans and players will ever be as connected as they were previously. Football meant something different back then. Now, it really is all about the money. And with so much money flying around in the game, you can understand that's the consequence of what's happened. It's the environment that we're in now. But with Pogba and Raiola together, that divide between United fans and Pogba will never be repaired. Will never be proper. And it won't be for Pogba at Real Madrid either. But that's not the sort of club Real Madrid has ever been. So maybe it's more suited to that environment. But either way, what do you think about whatever has had to say about Pogba? Do you think he's right or wrong? Moving on from what Evra has had to say about Pogba, he goes on to discuss the appointments that he feels United need to make behind the scenes as a club. It will take time. It will take time. I think they have the right people to do it as well. I think they need like more people. They, they, they got the Man United DNA and they, they bleed for this club. I think they, they need more like ex-player, you know. Evra here is summing up exactly the fears that United fans have. X players blah blah blah, United DNA, blah, blah, blah. It's not going to fix our problems. Yes, we need more players with the sort of United attitude in that dressing room. But bringing X players into directorial roles is not going to solve the dressing room problems. Bringing those types of players into the dressing room is not going to solve the structure of the club's problems. They're different. One solution will not fix both problems. And that is a, something that I feel United are doing. Just having a sweeping generalisation of every player that's got coming in, got to have United DNA. Anybody who's coming into a sort of a club, technical director, sporting director role, got to have United DNA. What works for one won't work for the other. And I think it's foolish for anybody, and ever included, to think that is just the solution to the problems, because it's absolutely not. But for all the things I've agreed with and disagreed with from Everett in this interview, the one thing he says towards the very end of his interview, it couldn't be more true. I, I, I've got the fear and I'm really a positive man, but all the things are going. I don't want United to be like Liverpool, wait like, I don't know, seven or ten years, like AC Milan, like team like that, like Arsenal, to get back at the top. But the problem, I, the future doesn't look bright. You know, I want the future to look bright, but it doesn't, it doesn't look bright. I mean, he's not wrong, is he? The future really doesn't look bright. The likes of Barcelona and Bayern Munich are two major clubs that need to rebuild this summer, and Real Madrid as well. Bayern have already signed De Jong from Ajax. They're on the verge of signing De Ligt from Ajax. Probably going to sign Griezmann now that he's confirmed he's going to leave Atletico Madrid. Bayern Munich already confirmed a deal for Lucas Hernandez. Already confirmed a deal for Benjamin Pavard. All the meanwhile, United still haven't appointed a director of football and we're already into the summer transfer window. The only player we've been linked with strongly is Daniel James from Swansea, who could be a very good United player, but it's not enough for our problems. And we've got so far to catch up with City and Liverpool. Wolves are good. Spurs are in a great position now. Chelsea and Arsenal are in a Europa League final. While United are sitting on their hands, not doing much in a summer which is so crucial for the club. We're walking into the mist, we really are, whilst other clubs are running away and restructuring and rebuilding properly. The United fans have to sit and watch. And that's why the future feels bleak, because the structures aren't in place for United to rebuild yet. Why are they not already in place? Why is it not already started? I don't know, but that's why I agree there. The future does look bleak, and City and Liverpool are only going to get better. So what's next for United? I don't know. But it's hard to look forward to the future and not be genuinely scared for what's coming next for Manchester United as a football club. But what is your take on everything that Ever has had to say in this interview from Paul Pogba, Alexis Sanchez United, the Glazers, everything that he's had to say? Let me know what you think in the comments below. He raises a lot of good points, but some I had to call him out on as well as being utter bullshit. Especially saying that Paul Pogba is innocent because he's not. But let me know what you think about all the points I've raised from the interview in the comments below. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you hit that subscribe button and get involved. Until next time, though, take it easy.